Two American League teams. It's the Los Angeles Angels against the Chicago White Sox. Where else but 2K Sports? Welcome to MLB on 2K Sports. Along with John Krug and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt, getting ready for some offensive punch. Everyone settling in now. U.S. Cellular Field, the site. Starting pitcher, John Danks. Steve, as he faces these angel hitters, what's a primary emphasis? With John Danks on the mound, you get to watch a young guy who's crafty, not overpowering. He has good stuff, but it's not the kind of stuff that'll... Pepsi presents our starting lineup. Here's what Mike Socha's offense looks like. So who are you looking at, John? Well, Kendry Morales had a break. Eric go. Ibar leading it off. Last oh, night, the Angels eight, losing. Eight, Still two games to go, though. One two, and one right now. Eric Chance to Ibar. split this four-game set against the White Sox. There's a ground ball. Out and out Ibar out. is retired. That one looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Well, any throw, the key part of it is footwork. And he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. And it's Howie Kendrick. Danks gets set and delivers. Line drive. So Kendrick is down. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. So Steve, any individual standout? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. It's Morales at the plate. Ground ball to short, fielded by Ramirez. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. So John Danks gets him three up, three down. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. And out on the mound, we'll see Jared Weaver. will be the starter for Anaheim. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? Well, maturity and confidence are at an all-time high for Jared Weaver, and it's going to lead into 2010. A straight fastball, but he throws across his body, so he's very deceptive, and he hides the ball well from the hitters. He has a changeup, a slider, and a curveball, and when he has them all working, it can be very difficult not only to pick up, but to hit. Owen one Weaver kicks, deal. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. He's coming off a four-hit game last night. He must be locked in and feeling confident right now. He's got him there. That was a nice strikeout. That's a great strikeout right there, Gary. Three pitches, and he sits him down. How about that for efficiency? And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. Numbers over his career. 255 off the Angels. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. Rivera to field this one. As he drops back and puts it away. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. In our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, all you ask from your players is to give them some consistency, and Johnny Damon throughout his career has done that. He's a guy that can hit for average. He can hit the ball out of the ballpark if you make a mistake. The thing about it is he's a winning player. It seems like any team he ever plays on, they end up winning championships. That's what you need from a veteran like him. Weaver sets, throws. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. And he's out. They get him with that throw to first base. Now, Gary was really going for it there, but the catcher's able to get a handle on it, give it over to first base in time. If he doesn't get it there, who knows what it might lead to. Outstanding hustle to make sure he doesn't get on on a third strike. And a 1-2-3 inning for Jared Weaver. The handiwork already on display. Strikes out two to start this ballgame. And we'll see the aim. Leading it off, Hideki Matsu. Designated hitter, number 55, Hideki Matsui. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. And, and you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Line down the right field line, but a foul ball. Foul ball! Well, that's a shot into the stands right there. That's just self-defense, but a nice play. 
Ought to be a collection taken by those around him. He just saved somebody a big time hurt and got one of his own. Well, that had to sting a little bit. And another foul ball. Well, you can tell right there that the batter is in protection mode. Anything close, he's just trying to put it in play. The fact that he fouled it off will keep this at bat going. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. For 20. Okay, now we're going to get a chance to see the cutter here, Gary. Got him looking on a breaking ball. A pitch that moves like that is something that is very useful to a pitcher if he's throwing it with confidence. And you can see that what a weapon that is. Cut fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll take it himself. Puts the tag on for the out. First half of the season almost completed. Here's a free all-star break look at the Western Division standings, courtesy of State Farm. It's the Angels in first, the Mariners second place. In third, it's the A's. And it's the Rangers in fourth. It's going to be Napoli. And they will tag him out, and the side is retired. Nothing doing. All lit up here at U.S. Cellular Field on this beautiful night for a game. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's the league leader in hits. Line drive. That's foul towards first. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. 0 oh and 1 Weaver kicks deals hard grounded a short. No, Quinton is retired with this break here are the teams that have been piling up the runs courtesy of State Farm. Number one the White Sox second the Yankees third spot the Red Sox fourth the Twins and number five the Indians rounded out. Well, leading the league in runs score, that means they score runs in a lot of different ways. They have power. They have speed. They can manufacture runs. They can really find ways to score in any way possible. That is strike two. Jared Weaver now. He's dominating. And that one swung on and missed by Gordon Beck. Well, K Cam's going to show us the four-seam fastball here. So Alex Rios will try and keep it going. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Swung on and hit. This one to Abreu. And that's the third out. That'll do it. It's called short work of three. And Bobby Abreu to bat. Center fielder, number 53, Bobby Abreu. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Well, that's a quality fastball right there, just pounding the strike zone down and away. Back up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. And that'll retire Abreu. Heron is the batter. Nobody on base, one away. A smash towards the hole. And Conerco getting to it. And he'll be tagged out at first base. And we've got his tourist batting. He'll take his first shot at the plate. On the ground to first. And Conerco getting to it. And he'll step on first to retire the side. Three up, three down this half inning. And we are still without a run. U.S. Cellular Field. Isaac Guillen taking a look at you right there. He's watched some great deliveries on the mound. Struggling bats, though. Important now to get the offense stinging. It's going to be Przinski. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. One down. A chance here to take a look at the Los Angeles Angels and how they rank in the American League right now. First in stolen bases, fifth in home runs, and a pitching staff that has power stuff that can hit their spots, showing they can get it done. Top five ranking in strikeouts. Power arms on this staff. And here's Martian. Great season, top ten in RBIs. And a swing and a miss on Weaver's delivery. Ground ball to his tourists. 
Yeah, and that'll send down Tian. Now, great play at third base right there. What an arm this guy has as he rifles it across the field. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And Abreu's going to play it. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. Well, how about that? It's Ibar at the plate. Shortstop, number two. Eric First pitch. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Now, Gary, they're going through the lineup the second time around right here. They don't have any hits, so they've really got to start thinking about what are they doing at the plate and should they be more aggressive right now? Danks, safe at first. He barely beat it out. So Howie Kendrick will come up now. Grounded out last time. No one out and a runner on first. Oh, and there goes Ibar. Safe, he gets in there. Danks gets set and delivers. Ground ball headed for the middle. Too late, and he is safe at second. Now coming to Boy, they've opened the door. Can Anaheim go through it? But when you're setting your defense, you don't set your defense for guys not to hit the ball well. This ball wasn't hit hard, but he gets down the line so quickly he's able to beat it out for that base hit. That one is hit well. Quentin's there. Ibar's heading for third. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. They wrap up this Los Angeles series tomorrow. Kick off a series with the Kansas City Royals, a little division play team they beat in the previous series between the two. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And they'll have to contend with Denard Spann and a very good lineup for the Minnesota Twins. So, some challenges in store for sure. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And it gets through as Matsui drives in the run. Anaheim there continuing. The bats are hot. Left fielder, number 20, Juan Rivera. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. Cutter just misses. 1-0. Lifetime, 231 off John Danks. No, he did not, so he will continue this at bat. Here's Danks with a 1-0 pitch. There's a called strike of the knees, 1-1. Now that he's gotten the four-seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. He watches the 1-1 pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. And Rivera will come up empty in this A.B., strike him out. Well, credit the pitcher right there. Good two-strike pitch down and away. Not much he could have done with that, even if he had made contact. And the first pitch. Danks gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Here's the pitch. And two strikes on him now. Mike Napoli, he'll take a look at these next pitches very closely. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. Things wake up a bit here. First run of the game in the fourth. The Angels on top, one to nothing. It'll be the lead. The familiar face of Mike Sosha. Got what he needed out of his lineup that last time through. This lead now something he can try to protect if he can get some solid pitching. And it's Johnny Damon now. Right there in the top five in home runs. Here are your hit leaders for the month brought to you by State Park. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Runner on first. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. And he offers at the circle change and misses 0-1. And, and Napoli spotting the pitch. Swing, liner, back up the middle. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with the single. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Uh, 0 one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate. And he pays for it. RBI chance goes to Paul Canerco. Well, leading the league in home runs. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. Bounces up against the wall. 
And here's Damon going to try to score. And Damon comes in. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. Weaver sets, throws. He gets Quentin to swing, strike one. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. There's two quick strikes. Now he's ahead 0-2. Let's see if he goes out of the zone to see if he can get the hitter to chase. You got him there. That was a nice strikeout. I just don't think you can make it any easier than that. Three pitches. Up, down. See you later. He's already back at the bench. And Beckham's in the box. He's hitting 333 lifetime off the Angels. And it gets down as Ramirez will come home. Panerko also home. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Number 51, Alex Rios. Well, coming off that amazing four-hit performance the last time out, getting his team a win, he's off to another great start already early in this one. One out with a runner at second. And he starts Rios out. Swung on and hit. This one to Abreu. Runner on his way to third. Easily safe at second. Now State Farm brings you the leaderboard for the highest on base percentage in the league. These guys really understand the nature of the game. They understand that they cannot help the pitcher retire them. They force the pitcher to throw it over the plate. They can put it in play and get a base hit or they'll take a walk. It's going to be Przinski, one of the best batting averages in the league. A dive, and he's back in easily. Oh, and one. Weaver kicks, deals, and that's a strike. AJ Przinski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Uh, coming off a good ball game last night, picking up two hits in that one. Ended this inning with a nice piece of pitching work as he gets the K. They pick up four hits in the inning and three runs crossed. The it's Bobby Abreu to lead off. Center fielder, number 53, Bobby Abreu. On the way. Checks his swing that time, but it's still a strike on one. Here's the pitch. And it's 0 and 2. Abreu probably won't try and pull here. Well, the pitcher has him right where he wants him, on the defensive. He could try to throw it out of the zone and get him to chase. Ball. That's in on the hands for a ball, one and two. Here's a swing and a line drive. Back I'm able to pull that one. A look at the teams with the lowest ERA for the month, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox second. In third, the Yankees. Mariners fourth. And number five, the Indians rounded out. We take a look at these low ERAs, and I think it really points to the fact they have depth in their pitching staff. The starting pitching and the bullpen have been getting the job done, really limiting the opposition. Takes so much pressure off the offense. On the ground to short. Fielded by Ramirez. Over to Canerco. Now it's two down. It's a nice throw by the shortstop. And the key to that is having good feet. When an infielder makes bad throws, it's not because of his arm. It's because of his feet. And we've got his tourist batting. 270 lifetime batting average against the White Sox. Now 0 and 2, Danks with some pitches to play with. Danks gets set and delivers. Line drive. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. And in the batter's box, it's Tian. And he's in the top 10 in the league and runs. First pitch on the way. This one swung on and driven hard. And Abreu is going to play it. Didn't have a problem getting over there in time. 
designated hitter. And as Jim told me in the box now, he flew out his last time up. That one bounced in the dirt. He swung. It's a strike. 0 and 1. Weaver kicks, deals. And he leaves that pitch alone. Jim Tomei with patience evens the count. His career average, and even 300 against Jared Weaver. Ground ball to his turret. And that gets in there. Tomei a base hit. And that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. Coming up in the All-Star break, here's what the Central Division race is looking like, courtesy of State Farm. It's the White Sox in first, Twins in the second spot. In third place, it's the Royals. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. What a year for him, top five in homers. Liner towards the hole. That will bring up the big bat in a big moment, Alexei Ramirez. He's got one of the best averages in the American League. Runners on first and second with one out. Weaver sets, throws. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0 and 1. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, his last game came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately just couldn't come up with a triple. A swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. He's got a shot of getting out of this now. Big time out. He's got two down. He's only one out away from working out of this jam. And he starts Canerco out. Curveball swung on and missed. Now it's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Weaver kicks, deals. Strike two. No balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. A great change up right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. So no runs, two hits, and they strand two. White Sox. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crump bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. The first pitch. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0 and 1. Head up the middle. Back up. And Ibar is retired. Almost fell over when he got to that one. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that. You have to have great body control to play this game. And he certainly sewed it there. And he got him. Hit on the ground, up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. So Kendrick is down. And fans, there's more baseball coming this Friday. It'll be Albert Pools and the St. Louis Cardinals. As they find themselves at Minute Maid Park playing the Astros. That game gets underway 8 Eastern. I don't know about you guys. Swing and a hot shot. Back up. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. No strikeouts. But you talk about confidence. Four pitches, three batters gone. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Carlos Quinton. Weaver sets, throws. Cut fastball, swung on and missed, 0-1. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Ball is blasted, high, deep, center field, way back there. Goodbye, home run. Putting a little padding on the lead. Solo shot up by three. White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Number 15, Jordan. Base is empty and no outs. 
And Napoli spotting the pitch. There's a swing and a drive deep right field. As he retreats back for it and gets the out. Center fielder. Number 51. And Alex Rios up. Base is empty with one away. And he starts Rios out. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0 and 1. But his last game came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately just couldn't come up with a triple. That is strike two. Jared Weaver now. He's dominating. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as cake. You know, sometimes in the back, you go five, six, seven pitches as they start to foul off the 0-2 count. I like that he went right at him aggressively. Strikes him out on three pitches. Cut fastball. Swung on and missed. 0-1. 0-1. And one. Oh and one. Weaver kicks, deals. Played by Ibar. Throws to first in time. That's three down. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox up three. Hitting it off, Hideki Matsui had an RBI single his last time to the plate. Number 55, Hideki Matsui. Is Matsui's first look. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Oh, nine outs to go right now and, and leading by three. I mean, I think you have to start throwing strikes. Just go at the hitters, force them to put in play. Do not give them free passes. He deals. One and Here's two. a strike, bottom half of the zone, one and two now. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement, down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Grounded up the middle. Beckham. Right. Retiring Matsui. Uh, he's got everything working for him right now. Every pitch, he's throwing for a strike. And that's nine in a row that he's set down. Here's the pitch to Rivera. They set up away. Cutter misses. 1-0. Offensively, now they've got to start to work the count. They've got to try to get base runners on and get things going here. I mean, you've got one out here in the seventh inning. It's not too late to try to make up some of this deficit. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And that should be a single. Now he takes this one-two pitch but down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact. And he got it. First pitch on the way. There's a strike from Danks. Now 0-1. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Ground ball up the middle. And he'll try to make the play. And that'll send down Napoli. I thought they had a shot at a double play right there, but at least they got one out. But now runner is in position at second base. Thanks gets set and delivers. Got him out with a cut fastball for a strike. Well, they need a big two-out rally right here. Try to see if you can't reduce this three-run lead a little bit. Leave yourself something to do in the eighth and ninth, but try to peck away at it right here. And that one swung out and missed by Abreu. And so a good inning for John Danks. He's on the hook for a win if he can continue to pitch well. Loosen him up. Seventh inning stretch time on the south side. Here's Mark Tian leading it off. Flew out last time. Number 25, Mark Tien. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled off. And that's a strike. Well, maybe someone ought to have him step out for just a minute. He went after one in the dirt. He swings now and really hit that. And Abreu is going to play it. And he grabs it in his track. Month four of the baseball season. Let's take a look at the Angels and what they have in store. One game left for the White Sox. That's tomorrow. They'll meet with a fellow AL West foe. The Oakland Athletics will be hosting. That'll be a three-game series. A swing line to left center. 
That one in the alley. This could be two or more. Well, it's a pretty good pitch to hit right here, and he gets the good part of the bat on the ball. Now he's in scoring position with just one out. Here is Johnny Damon. A great opportunity for him and the Sox. Man on second, one away. First pitch on the way to Damon. Hit hard on the ground to short. Now it's two away. Here are the batters who've knocked in the most runs on our State Farm leaderboard. RBIs over the last 10 games. Well, these are the kind of guys that decide games right here. They thrive on situations with runners on base to come up and deliver, and they have been getting it done. So Alexei Ramirez is batting. He's got a chance, a great chance here. Weaver sets, throws. Curveball just misses, 1-0. Swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez not making contact. That'll even up the count. Well, you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground. Bad timing. Sharp bite to that slider. One and two. One two pitch coming. A swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. He throws. And out. The catcher makes the play. Oh, it's a great play, Gary. Pitch in the dirt. Get Heron batting now. He's going to lead off here as we go to the eighth. Number 25, Kanakoa. Thanks gets set and delivers. Starts him off with one at the knees for a strike. Obviously getting late right now, Gary, and I think that from the pitching perspective. Head up the middle. That should be a base hit. Beckham. Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. First pitch, here it comes. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. To left center, that is in. It's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Now Quick back. moment here. Look at the teams who are doing the most yard work. Brought to you as always by State Farm. The White Sox number one. The Red Sox second. Third, the Yankees. The Twins fourth. And at number five, it's the Angels. Uh, two of the better home run hitting teams in baseball, so it's going to be critical to keep the ball down in the zone. The team that wins may be the one that keeps it in the ballpark. And that's going to be a base hit. Tying run is on. And he scores. Well, he saw a pitch that he really liked, and he did not miss it. A really nice job with nobody out, keeping this inning going and picking up that RBI. Great, great piece of hitting. So looking to capitalize on the RBI chances, Howie Kendrick. And it is getting down to crunch time right now. This is where the offense, they can't give up not only an at-bat, they can't give up a pitch. Now, Gary, you know what? They're chipping away at this lead, and just in time, too. They don't have too many opportunities left, so let's see if they can keep on cashing in here. Well, good speed at first base right here. He can really run. Don't be surprised if we see him try to steal and get a second runner in scoring position. We'll see Canerco holding him in there. On the ground to short. The pick. It's one. And two. They got both of them that time. And they get that run in. How big was that double play? Well, the Pepsi WPA graph gives us a pretty good idea. Well, here's a double play that looked like they ordered up. Great turn and throw at second base. He was ready to make the play. An example of a nicely executed double play. Now the first pitch. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. Fielded by Ramirez. Out. Throws on the first side is retired. John Danks comes off the mound. He's limited the other side to just two runs, eight innings. Now time for the White Sox. This is their chance in the home half. There's a look at Ozzie. Ozzie Guillen. Well, he's not happy with his club. He's still out in front, but he knows they cannot afford to have innings like that and still win. That's it. Foul by Canerco. 0 and 1. Weaver kicks, deals. Strike two. Strike two. No balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. 
Here's a swing, a long high drive deep into center field. Out of here, a home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. That's the second home run so far in this game off the pitcher here, so they're looking like maybe they're starting to figure something out. You can survive the home run ball if you can spread them out, but it's getting a little dicey now. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Well, working on the 0-1 count now. And Steve, uh, late in the ball game, you really pounce on an opponent when you get a big time home run like that the chance to put it away and now pitching going to be critical can they shut down this offense and can you get back out there with your pitcher and shut them down to win the game down on strikes there a nice piece of pitching work it's going to be David Weathers on the mound as the Angels turn to him in relief I'll tell you what this is one of those decisions you can go either way he's pitched pretty well to this point but it is that swung on line towards the gap in left center this one into the alleyway should be extra bases. And with this break in the action, let's take a look at the leaders in slugging brought to you by State Farm. Well, this is a list of guys that when they get in there, they're looking to do some damage to really hurt the opposition. Looking to drive the ball. It's not just about contact, it's about hard contact. And he starts Rios out. Slider misses badly with it. 1-0. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Rio swings and misses, and the count is even. Well, it looked like he was fooled. He wasn't ready for that sinker. The pitch. And this is inside, and that hit him hard. Well, that fastball had teeth on it. It just took a bite out of that guy. It's going to be Brzezinski. Oh, here with that hit batter we just saw. Now two runners on base. A little rally starting here. And maybe the pitcher getting a little bit rattled. He's looking a little confused out there right now. He just swung at a pitch that was in the dirt. Now you watch and see how the hitters react to it. Are they looking for that next pitch oh. down the middle? Or they think maybe they got to wait him up? And the pitcher has to regroup. He's got to settle down out there, not panic, and get back in the strike zone. Strike Good time to call for that changeup. One and two. Well, when you swing like that at a changeup, you're very lucky you didn't hit it, or else it'd be an easy out. And A.J. Brzezinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Well, he climbed the ladder on him, Gary, and he just didn't have enough bat speed to catch up to that pitch. Mark T and the guy they look to in this lineup, Gary, to get the job done. Let's see if he can set off some fireworks here. He's hit 283 lifetime off the Angels. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Rivera to field this one. And that one's put away to retire the side. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox by two. It is Mike Socia you're looking at. On his mind right now, well, ninth inning strategy to get this thing tied back up. Offensive production's the key. And out on the mound, we've got Scott Linebrink. Chicago's bringing him in to close now. Well, this was an outstanding performance today. I mean, that's good starting pitching right there. He won't be able to finish what he started, but he pitched a heck of a ball game. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Oh, Atsui takes a called strike. Well, nobody out here in the ninth. You know what they're trying to do. They need to get somebody on and bring the tying run to the plate. That's absolutely critical because that will put pressure on the pitcher. Smash towards the hole, and he's up with it. One away. Uh, defensively, you got one out here in the ninth inning, and we want to make a play. Just get an out. You will trade a run for an out here with a two-run lead. And one Rivera to bat. Smash towards the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. That retires Rivera. Well, they need one more out. Defense ready, lining up behind the pitching, trying to get that big out, forcing them to put it in play and make the play. Here's the first pitch. Line towards second. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. Now the State Farm leaderboard staff's responsible for the fewest free passes in the league. The White Sox, number one. The Royals, second. Third, the Mariners. The Rays, fourth. 
And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. Will you ask any manager and any pitching coach in baseball? Head on the ground. This could be the end of this ballgame. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. Gary, in close games, you have to make the plays at critical junctures. That's what the White Sox did today, and it led them to victory. Now we'll look at our Pepsi Clutch performer, our stand-up performance deserving of recognition. Definitely a difference maker in this one. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Well, no question about it. They get the win in a close game, a lot of excitement and enthusiasm, and ready for the next one. So glad you could join us. For Steve Phillips and John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. We'll see you real soon.